Hello everybody, how's it going? Today I got a match between me on law, my opponent on Sanji. Um, the Sanji deck is honestly <laughs> really interesting. It was a deck that uh, when this set first dropped I really wanted to check out, but uh, I really just never did. I have the cards for it, but I still have yet to play it. I like this uh, this two drop stuff that people have come up with where your turn one is basically just playing two 4k bodies and then if you have the right curve next turn you play a, a four cost vanilla and then you have two dawn to swing with each of the 4k bodies really strong really aggressive um my opening was um definitely not the best a little bit awkward you saw the original hand i mulligan it just felt too heavy so i could mulligan that um i also do think i misplayed this turn i did not play around um the Punk Gibson here. Because I the play I was going for definitely left one Don up because I wanted to Otama Vista one of them. And then uh, I just have an extra Don. So I definitely should have just used the extra Don for the Brook and just swung four because it got rested anyway. But uh, we still Otama Vista and end up leaving up one for the Radical Beam. As you saw that last turn with the, the 3-5Ks, I did take two of my life. So, you know, Beam is active. It's on 4K now, but... Off the off rip, it's <laughs> it's a little bit scary playing law, especially when I don't have any little blockers. But uh, we do have four characters on board, about to be three because I'm not protecting that brook. If anything, it just serves as a blocker, so I only have to deal with one attack this turn. And he goes seven, and uh, I'm definitely yeah, I definitely used the beam there. Just because my upcoming turns have no guarantee of me being able to leave that Dawn up because I'll be able to use my leader effect pretty soon. And thank God we saw that Bonnie. That was that was a savior. That's the law luck right there. Whenever you're on that, your leader is shambles turn, you always draw that Bonnie. That's the plot armor. <laughs> but uh, we find either a beige or another Bonnie. I take the beige. I think with what I was going for, because I wanted to, to bounce my Otama to... Uh, to minus two to one of the four Ks, I think I I could have played this better. I maybe should. I'm just supposed to grab another Bonnie so I can leave the current Bonnie on the field, so I'm able to play. I don't know. The the beds just kind of didn't do anything, if I remember correctly. He just ends up sitting in my hand for an extra turn. Because if I uh, what I could do is I could play Otama grab back pretty much both my Otamas and play the Vista instead of um, what I do here. I, I don't think it's the worst, honestly. I think I also should have just put a Dawn on that Vista and swung for it uh, at the Vanilla. Probably a better play. Yeah, minus two, and I use Leader. Take back the Otama I just played. And see, now I'm forced to take back that Bonnie, but if I grabbed an extra Bonnie, I could have just left that Bonnie and grabbed my other, one of my other 2k counters. And I do just end up swinging 5 with the last 2 Dawn. Didn't really want to sack off any of the 2k's on board that I could pick up. Uh, he plays a, a 7 cost kid. Also, this is a, a bit of a longer one. Uh, there's two games here, just because uh, I, I felt like it, it was an interesting match, so I got, you know, definitely got to rematch them. The next game is, uh, I think, even tighter than this one. So, because enjoy the gameplay <laughs> or interested in either deck definitely definitely give it a watch but we try another bonnie sweet <laughs> grab a restand law i did actually speed up the video just because it's a bit long it's a bit long so in, in case you're curious i i, I don't <laughs> I, I feel like i played pretty fast but i don't know if i played this fast you know we'll go three dawn on Law, attack for nine just because we have the restand law. I'll be able to grab back one of my 2Ks. And because I drew that extra Bonnie, I can leave that Bonnie on field and not feel bad about it. That's another thing. I could I could have had one more Bonnie instead of this <laughs> this veg in my hand, but it's, it's all good. It's all good. It's a misplay. That's another big thing I feel about when I rewatch my replays. I definitely pick up on stuff I could be better at. He swings eight at my lead. I end up taking it. And he probably 
just swings five. I imagine, you know, Sanji plays a lot of counters. So yeah, he'll swing five on my Bonnie. And uh, that's a free block right there. <laughs> so I end up keeping my Bonnie. That is pretty good. We're on our 10 Don turn. Obviously, got to use that Bonnie. We find a pistol, so that'll let us deal with um, one of the kids because we have uh, of Thomas. <clears throat> we'll swing seven. Pretty much against decks that run a lot of counters or like event counters, I always like swinging at kind of just baseline. But when they have the the seven cost kid, obviously, you kind of want to swing at that seven. So, it's nice we already have some six Ks on board to just swing at seven. And I do actually swing at the kid here just in in hopes that uh he'll let one of them go and then I can pistol the other. But it doesn't work out like that, and that's fine. You know, it's easy to defend. Might as well. And I do end up sacking off my Vista to pop one of them with Otama Pistol. I'll swing five at his lead. He'll love love out of it. And uh, I do play the beige here just because um, I, I, was, I was a little bit scared, honestly. He has two attacks. I have one blocker in theory, you know. I always live, but in practice, he is, you know, blue and green, so he can either bounce or rest one of my blockers here, so I do play the beige just to be a little bit safer. Puts two down on, uh, on kid, swings at my six, or five cost law, the restand law, I just block it, because now I pretty much know I'm not dying, because uh, he used his bigger attack there. Puts a Don on Sanji. Probably thinking if he wants to just kind of either just clear the Bonnie or... Uh, he has, he has de de some decent attacks here. Because definitely clearing my Bonnie is always good. I'm trying to clear my Law. That's a weird number to go into Law. I feel like you either go 6 or you go 8 there. But I do just 2k, under, 2K counter out of that one. Once again, my Bonnie lives. I'll grab another blocker Law. And now I'm just thinking how I want to do my turn. I'll, most of it, it's probably just going to swing seven, swing seven, probably even swing seven with leader. Swing with all the laws. I think it's, I love this version of a OPO2 law because there comes points when you just have a ton of laws on board. And it's like, what, what, what deck is this guy playing? Very, very clearly law. <laughs> we get all the different arts. Yeah, we go seven with both our restand laws, and probably seven with my leader. Yep. I do, uh, I really like the seven drop kid in Sanji. It makes a lot of sense, because it makes people put on uh, extra dawn, because they don't want to just give you a free block, usually. So it, it gives you more use out of your event counters, which is pretty cool. I like that. We do play, uh, a Nami there, grab a chopper. So we're, we're got a, a lot of blockers. We're 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 chilling right now. No worries. He goes nine at a uh, restand law. Again, I feel like okay, he's not going for game, so I'll just use my little blocker. I'll go eight. I think I have to let one of these go. Yeah. Just because the next attack, if he really wants to kill one of them, he can. But I, I do want to try to save at least one of the restand laws. So maybe I, I should have countered out of that. Because he could go really big on this one. But I think if he did and he tapped himself out, it's just pretty easy for me to, to try to go to go for a game. Well, not really, because he does have 7-drop kid. So fair enough, fair enough. It really just depends on his hand, because if his hand is a lot of events, obviously he doesn't want to tap out. So it looks like he is just swinging six, and I do end up getting to protect one of my restand laws. So that is nice. We'll draw for turn, we get a Zoro, and uh, 
I'm definitely thinking about how I can go for game here. But uh, we look for a restand law, exactly, because that'll be a big part in going for game. Because then we have two extra attacks with the Zoro and um <clears throat> and the restand. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. We'll just go seven at him. He's doing a little bit of thinking. Counters out with Repel. I think that card's also pretty cool in uh in Sanji. Basically just a, a one cost 4k, quote unquote. You still have to leave two up, but you immediately get one refunded. Cool card. And I just go five here with uh with a rush sword, just because I I want him to block, honestly. I want him to take this free block. Is because I know I can go bigger if I if I want to with um more of my laws, but I don't think that's the right play, just because, in, in theory, he has two more event counters, so I want to just kind of whittle them down and not commit Dawn to those attacks. And he goes, see that? See what I mean? Like, a, no matter how big I swung there, I wasn't swinging over the, what's it called? Onigiri, I think? I believe that's it. Three sword style, Onigiri. But it lets us go for... Two more sevens with my blocker laws. He plays another event counter. And I just go six here because I just want that last card. And then we can uh, use my leader effect and do the restand. And uh, I do give him the rematch here. Because uh, I thought that match was pretty good. It was interesting. It was close. I choose to go second. <laughs> Mess up his curve. But, um... Another nice thing about Law is I feel like you can pretty efficiently go first or second. Some matchups, obviously, you want to go one or the other. Like, in matchups, you want to be aggressive, say, against Kaido, you want to go first. And you want to see your your Rush Zoros, your, your uh, not Vanilla, but Starter Deck Zoros, and just be really aggressive. Because that's just how you have to play that matchup. Um, but this game, start with a, a Chopper and a Makino. From last game, I know my turn one, I didn't play a Makino I had, and I'm like, nah, this game, I'm, I'm definitely just playing it. I'm definitely just playing it. It's, uh, Makino's definitely not like Zoro, where you'll always get value on it, but you will a decent amount of the time in law. You really just need a Nami for it to feel good. I do pistol one of his, uh, 4K Vanillas, just because they're kind of cluttering my hand right now. I kind of need to play them, because if not, they're just a, a dead card in my hand that isn't counter, so I like just getting them out of my hand if I have them. And I only run two. <laughs> I, drew, I drew both of them, so I was definitely like, yeah, let, me, let me use some of these, get rid of them. I just swing five at his, uh, at his uh, Jinbei there. He overheats, bounces my chopper. Fair enough. And I do end up just pistoling the Zoro and then playing, replaying both my choppers. We're, uh, we're kind of keeping his board a bit tame, and we're slowly establishing our our little guys so we can use um use our leader. And he drops a uh, 8k Mihawk. This card is scary. It's actually it's so good in Sanji. I think this deck is so cool because uh, basically it's just a four drop, and then you know it's 8k. It's big, very good attacker, and I I got the I got the pressure on me right now. I was definitely thinking about just taking this because I really didn't want to drop either of my Namis or my Bonnie, and I'm like, damn, I'll just 2k out of it. It feels a little bit bad, but I want to keep my Surgers. And uh, I grab a Blocker Law there. Swing another 5 at uh, his Vanilla. Yeah, Punk Gibson taps my um, Chopper. Not, not too worried about that because I'll basically be able to restand it. Whiff off this first Nami. We play another one. I was really just looking for, like, a Zoro, and I do get one of them here. Yep. And we'll use... Leader, probably? Yeah. He doesn't have any mana up, so the only thing that can really interact with me swinging next is a, a trigger. And I, I didn't believe in it. <laughs> so right here, I had a bunch of extra dawn. Also, I could have definitely established that Zoro... It might have been better, but I, I wanted to do this play where I swing with my chopper just because uh, I really wanted to clear that vanilla, and I know he doesn't have mana up to 
or Don up to protect it. Unless he wants to drop three cards. Two 2Ks and a 1K. Also, it's like... <laughs> I mean, sometimes people do just ignore the, the rested Makino, rested Chopper. Which which is fair, but... With the Chopper, you know, yeah, it, it is doing something. Next turn, if you don't clear it. So that's kind of weird, but I do think he just... He just goes face... Which, fair enough, I'll take my last life. If he had another body there to play, I definitely think um, he was way ahead, way ahead. It would get very scary. But this turn, you see, because he didn't answer the Makino. Or the Chopper, we got our blocker back, and we get a free 5k attack here with Nami, which is very nice. He just takes it. I don't think there's a lot... I really want to play this turn, because I know I'm using my leader effect to play Restand Law, and I am probably just want to establish my Zoro for a bigger attacker. So I need to save, uh, what do we want to say, two for my leader, and then three for the Zoro. So I can basically use half my Dawn to, to swing here. So I do swing eight at the Mihawk. Because that's uh, the only way I think we get two attacks on the Mihawk. Because if not, I would have had to go, what, like, four on, um, on Blocker Law. And at that point, you know, when he has Dawn up, I really don't want to overcommit. I want him to feel a little bit bad over comboing so much. But uh, he does save it. Fair enough. I'll play my starter deck Law, or Zoro, sorry, and then we'll play our, our starter deck Law and restand our Blocker. So we're still pretty safe. I am on no life. But, um, I have two 2Ks, three 1Ks. I got two blockers on field. I'm, feel I'm feeling alright. I feel like we'll live. He swings 10. I was trying to see how big the next attacks could be. And I don't think either of them were going to be, if he equally spread it out, neither of them were going to be as big as that, that swing. So I take the block on that one. He swings eight. I do I believe counter out of this one because his next attack could be nine, so a better number. So I'll take the easier one to counter out of. And if he does put the rest of the dawn on his four K there, I you know I'll have to take the block. But he just goes six, and I know he's out of attack, so I'll block with my law and use one of my Namis here. Passes it to me. I get a Machino that's basically just, you know, one Dawn, free attack. Pretty good. We'll swing five. He takes that one. And now I'm like, I could maybe go for a game. He still has three Dawn up. And that could always represent technically more Dawn up because if he has, a, say, Repel here as he plays or the Onigiri, he gets uh, to restand two. So I'm thinking what numbers I should swing. I just swing another five. He does have a a 1k counter, which is pretty good. I was hoping uh, it was his hand was pretty much just events. That's what I was hoping. Definitely made it a bit harder to go for game. But now I'll swing nine because that's a, that's a 4k counter plus another card. So I'll see if he can do that. He does love love beam. And then 1k counter pretty good and now um it gets a little bit dicey because i pretty much i want to go for a game because i'm probably dead next turn so i need to play this bonnie to see if i will get a restand law and i do and i think that's like entirely the reason i end up winning this game it was it was a really close game but we just we found what we needed when we needed it and it was uh pretty good because he is now tapped out and he takes the seven so i'm like all right i'm pretty sure that this will just be game thinking about a trigger i don't know what that could have been maybe a punk gibson but all my characters were already rested then you know we'll use leader bounce play a restand law swing gonna swing another nine and he doesn't have it and that's the game thanks for watching everybody